What's up, guys? This is like the creme de la crab. Could be uh, like a French dish, but we're making sushi out of them. These kids are right in the hot spot. What's up, everybody? This is Real Cool Adventures. We got Cam, the cameraman's daughter, Mackenzie. Mackenzie, what do you want to catch today? Crab. That's what we're going to do. Right now, it's going down. We're going to catch crabs with Mackenzie. See any crabs down there? All right, we're on the search for crabs. Thank you. Lauren dropped her whiskey bottle. This is how you survive. Look at all the beaches. Look at that beach. Look at the size of that beach. Lauren, can you eat Man of War? I don't know. Well, you try Probably it first not. and then we'll talk about it. This actually looks perfect. All the signs are here. Children, boats that say no worries. Crabs. Crabs. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna take this clear cylinder and I'm gonna put some water in it because if you've ever done anything with little children and fish and anything outdoors, you're on a time schedule. These kids get bored really fast. So it's cool to have something nice and clear like this. I'll put some water in it. And as we start to catch the mole crab, she can sit here and play with it. And that keeps her occupied and buys us a little bit of time. So here we go. Watch your step, Cam. Well, if you guys can see these, these are man of war. They're just a jellyfish that floats all the way across the ocean. And you can find them pretty much anywhere in the world. And you will never forget it if you let one of those touch your feet. Not right away I see, ah, hold. I see mole crabs everywhere. All right, so we got a little bit of water. Now we're gonna grab my daughter. And I know what everybody's thinking. Why don't you just pick a better spot where there's not a bunch of man of war in front of us? Well, there is no better spot. They're up and down the whole beach right now. But the good part about man of war is here, that means the water is nice and warm and everything's coming back to life. We're coming out of winter time and all these animals, crustaceans, everything are getting ready to mate and molt and go into the frying pan. So I'm just gonna make a little tower like that. What's that for? That's so that Mackenzie can play with these things. All right, so we've got all the tools we need right here, basically. This is, Mackenzie has her sand flea, right? This is called, this is called a sand flea rake. You can buy them pretty much any tackle store. You can make your own. There's all types of uh, videos online on how to make them, really simple. Um, but this one in particular has a quarter inch mesh net. Some of them have three eighths mesh, some of them have half inch. And the reason I like this is it allows us to catch the smaller ones. And knowing that the smaller ones are in the molting stage, they're, they're shedding, so they're actually softer, and then we can take them home and eat them. All right, let's see what we can get. And they're all over. I actually see a pile of them right here. I'm gonna let this wave come up. This should be like really simple here.
All right, so that's how you get skunked. What I'm doing right now is I'm looking for, sorry guys, I'm trying to do this, but there's some half naked person running around down there that keeps sidetracking me. All right. Honestly, I don't even know what happened. We came here to catch mole crabs and now the kids just turned into mole crabs. But whatever, we're having fun. I'm getting a few looks from everybody, but I don't really. All right, you got this covered? I'm gonna go grab some crabs. A lot of times when I'm standing there going to do it, they feel you vibrate. They think I'm big bird. So they, they go back deeper in the sand. I'm gonna get them right now. The wave came up. Oh, I see him. There we go. Wave comes up. And then, and they're gone. All right, this could be a little harder than I thought. We're gonna have to find them. Just gonna have to go nuts and keep catching them. All right, there's one. That's not what we're, this is what we're after right here. This little guy is like mother nature's jumping bean. I'm gonna jump out of my hand. That's what we're after right there. Small little mole crab, okay? We're gonna entertain the kids and we'll keep catching. And that's the perfect size we want. About half an inch to three quarters of an inch. Holding all that flavor. Look, Mackenzie, where'd they go? Ow! Where'd they go? It's like being silly. Look right here, what's that? See that? That's a fish, all right. You know what that's related to? It's a long distance relative of a hermit crab, you know that? Yeah. Oh, you wanna catch him? Okay. Let's see if you can catch him. We making crab soup? Yeah. yeah. All right, we just turned this into a crab soup video. We're making spring break crab soup. Look at that little guy running around. What do you think, Mackenzie? She's like, just gonna make it rain dirt. He was just running and gunning. I'm thinking of just trying to find him, then coming up, and then one shot, one kill. So I just tried to do this, and I didn't do that very well, obviously. Now we're gonna see if Lauren can do a better job than I did, so go ahead and cue the music. I got one. I got two. This little guy. All right, go put them in the bucket. Kenzie, we got some crabs. You got one? I got two. <gasps> Mackenzie, look, let's see. Let's go, look. Let's see what we got. Hey, nice job, Lauren. All right, we got more. Look at the jumbo crab. Look at him. Isn't he cool, Kenzie? Here comes the crab, mother love. Mackenzie, look at this. You could probably bake that one like a potato. These are not the size we're looking for, but they'll keep the kids occupied. They'll keep me getting exercise. Well, you know what mole crabs are, or sand yeah. fleas? So we're catching these, and then uh, we're gonna take them home and eat them. You're gonna eat them? Yeah, they're delicious. Well, we're gonna make the kids eat them, and if the kids live, then we'll try it. Give me more. Give me more. Oh yeah, here we go. That's what we're looking for. A mother load, see that? Oh, we got him. 
again. All right, this is the size we want. Mackenzie just brought us good luck. They were right under our feet the whole time. I don't know if you guys can see that, but those little guys, where'd they go? See that? It's a crab nado. Look at that. You wanna grab one? You wanna catch one? I tell you, what, we're gonna let the ones with eggs go. Okay. See that? See the eggs in them? Yeah. Which one? You wanna go with? These actually have eggs in them. These right here. And we're not gonna use them for bait. We're gonna let these guys go. And look at that. Kind of looks a little weird, right? A little creepy guy. <laughs> we're gonna let him go. And what these guys are, they're filter feeders. What they do is when the waves come, they come back. They go backwards, and these little hairs, they come up like this. They filter the water, clean any bacteria away, anything like that, and that's actually what they feed on. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and let these two go. They have eggs. We're gonna catch some more, and then we're gonna go home and eat them. Look at those little jumping beans. If you can see that with the light. Look, Mackenzie. See the crab? Look at the crab. Look, you can get up there. Go look. Hang on, keep her still. Yeah. You want to? Ow. That was a fake owl. It didn't really bite me. Mackenzie, look. Look, what do you see? You want to hold the crab? Or... I'm getting a little deep here. Hey, Mackenzie, see the crab? Yeah. See the crab? Show, yeah, your no. da show your daddy. You want to keep him? Say, look, daddy, I got dinner. Dad. She's got dinner, don't eat it. <laughs> I thought she was gonna eat it. First, we gotta cook them. These kids wanna eat them. They, instinctively, she knows, let's get her up a little higher. Instinctively, she knows how good they are and she wanted to eat it right there like a little jelly bean. These are uh, beach jelly beans today. During this epidemic, it brings people closer together and it really lets you realize that we get lost in doing a bunch of stuff that's useless. Times like this when you have kids, that's why you have kids, so they can collect and gather food for you to survive. You can apply this same thing to hurricane season. You know, epidemics, hurricanes, it's all the same. Except now we have power, we just need an alternate food source. So you want to go home and eat them? Yeah. yeah. Mackenzie wants to go home and eat them, so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go home, fry these up, and have mole crab sushi right now. Are you ready? All right, so here's the trick. The whole trick to doing this is you have to cook them, put them in the refrigerator, let them cool for 10 to 15 minutes. If you eat them hot, it's so disgusting that you'd probably win a spinning contest if, you, if that's even a thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead right now, we're gonna cook them in butter. We're gonna put a little bit of seasoning on them. Then we're gonna put them in the fridge, let them get hard and crispy, take them back out. We're gonna make sushi hand rolls. <coughs> so we're gonna, here's where we go. Okay, we're gonna heat it up. What we have here is our little juvies, little juvenile delinquent sand crabs, mole crabs. Lauren, run and grab me that mesh real quick off the table. I wanna show everybody something real fast. Now, see the size of these. These are soft little molted mole crabs. Um, and what I was talking about on the beach, I don't know if I was descriptive enough, is this is half inch mesh. And if you were to use a sand flea rake out of these, they would pass right through it. You couldn't, acquire, you couldn't catch these with this size mesh. So this is a size that we use today, okay? And see, they can't pass through that. That's the reason we caught them. All right, whoa. Got the oven going. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cook these. It's really simple. This is fast, easy, effective way to feed your children. Uh, same, please. So, or anybody for that matter. 
Just gonna take a little butter, take about a scoop like that, throw it in there. We're gonna get this nice and hot, melt her down. And I like to use this New Orleans, New Orleans style Weber seasonal, whatever it's called. Basically it's like Cajun seasoning. And just sprinkle a little of that on there. Oh, yeah. Yep. And we're just gonna cook those. And the whole trick to them is, you wanna get them nice and crispy. You don't want them soft at all. You're literally gonna cook them and almost burn the edges of them. Then we're gonna cool them down and then wrap them up. You're just gonna let that kinda marinate in there. And today we have maybe like a half a cup of them. You can do probably two or three rolls with half a cup. I see they're turning pink. Sometimes people cook them like that and they think they're done. Well, you're gonna, it would taste like oatmeal, nasty, rotten fish oatmeal. And then you don't want that. And this is something that lives anywhere in the world. You know, what used to drive me nuts about this is I used to watch that Survival Island show and you see the people walking over and I'm like, I don't know why they ever did this because if they, that show airs again, we're gonna do this and win that whole show. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna. It would be so easy to win if you just ate these. It smells. I don't know if you guys. Well, obviously you can't smell it. It smells good. Like any crab. Okay, all crabs, shrimp. You put a little Cajun, Cajun seasoning. It, it all tastes the same. Would that be the best? If you weren't on naked and afraid, would that be the one thing that you brought then? And some clothes. Am I bad? <laughs> uh, yeah. If you were naked and afraid, what would what would be one thing you brought? Toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> toilet paper. Viewers, what would you bring? Comment down below. I would bring clothes. What would you bring? Me? I would bring Say a baseball. What you bring. I'd bring a baseball bat and get that out of your my face. All right. See how we're cooking these? Keep it up. I'm gonna cook you in there. Okay, we just turned these into smoke sand for you. I'm just kidding. Um, I've got it on real high heat. That's because I want to like almost cook their little crispy legs off. Please do. It smells so good, I don't want to lick the pan, except it's really hot. <laughs> All right, see how they have the little black dots on them? Like that. And I know it smells so good, you take it you're gonna take it out and you're, you're gonna be, you can't help it, you're gonna wanna eat it. They are nasty with a capital N, hot. You have to let them cool down and then eat them. I don't know why, but it's just completely nasty. <laughs> I feel like I just got maced at a Britney Spears concert. All right, we're burning this house down. Thank God I unplugged the smoke alarm. We're here for a good time. In this house, you don't use a bubble. Use the window. <laughs> That's right. Right now, there's a cat out there somewhere going, Row! 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 Fine dining. Man, these things are soft, I'm telling you. If you don't cook them and burn them, I mean, talking like charcoal, burn the edges of them, is that like soot coming down from the... Um, oops. <laughs> I jumped over. I think we woke up all the other fleas. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna char these. And, not gonna bore you with it. So, see you in a few minutes. Now we're just gonna Stick them in the refrigerator for about five minutes, cool them down, get them nice and hard, then bring them back to life in our taste buds. <laughs> Corona <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> I don't... Deer head in there. Not really head, it's actually a thigh. Are you a breast or thigh guy? Neither nor. Okay, so we have our, well, give me a sec. That'll be ready. Need some water. 
we get our sushi rice. And then we're just gonna cut these in half. This is how you want them to look. Crispy, crusty, crunchy. Almost like some type of disturbed walnut in, uh, <laughs> during the holiday season. <laughs> like, uh, like a, uh, what am I trying to say? Toasted, some type of toasted nut. What are you doing? I am, oh my god. I am finally shopping. Thank god this isn't my house. Yes, you are. Know. Okay. So two and a half hours later, this is what you have. Okay? Piece of paper and stay still right there. We get a bowl. Hang on. Hmm? I need a bowl. I need the water. It's all about the water. Flying cheese grater. Oh, fire. All right, so we're back, and it was a beautiful day. We had lots of fun, and we just went ahead and cooked these up, and here we go. We're going to show you how to eat them. Mackenzie can't be here because she's on nap time right now. So what we're gonna do is you just simply take some of your sushi grade rice like this, and it's real important. What you're gonna do is we have half a sheet of, uh, what are these rolls called, Lauren? Seaweed. Seaweed rolls. Keep your hands a little wet there so it doesn't stick to them. Then you just kind of fluff that up. And all you're gonna do is simply make, I call it like a dive flag, because. It's almost the shape of a dive flag. You're just gonna take this, and then you're going to go, I like to go, we're basically making ice cream cone. You take some of these, we're gonna go on a 45 degree angle like this, okay? You're just gonna take these fleas, mole crabs. It doesn't take a lot of them, about a third of a fistful, and then all you do is you simply just roll like this, okay? And you want to keep it fairly tight, like that. You've got a straggler there. you got a straggler, that's right. That, that little guy will keep it tight. And you're just going to roll it like this, just like so. Keep it going like that. And then all you do, get your hands take wet. A rice. And you just take a couple little dabs, let them jump on there. And you seal just like that. And it looks like an ice cream cone. And that's and it. Go ahead and give me some. And oh, and you sprinkle those little things on there. And then go ahead and give me some soy sauce in here. Don't open you. Yeah. You pack these little, these little guys jumped out when the camera was on, wasn't looking. You got a jumper. Oh, that's probably good. And that, my friends, is San Flea Sushi Hand Roll. I don't know if you can zoom in on that and see it. I'm really actually <laughs> proud of that. It's like picture perfect. You wanna try it, Cam? You wanna try it, Lauren? Here. Dip it and eat it. Can't believe you ate that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm about to yank that in your hand and inhale it because I'm so hungry. What do you think? This is the most long and drawn out thing I've Wait, ever seen. That's pretty good. It's really good. Let me have a bite, please. God, you're killing me. Oh, it's so good. I'll make you one too, Cam. Yeah. You want a bite? <laughs> That's awesome. I need a little wasabi in there. Go ahead. Yeah, definitely want some wasabi. That sucker is good. Mmm. Ah, oh, so good. I want like 50 of them. Now, you can put whatever you want in there. This tastes so good. The, the way those mole crabs taste in there with rice, you can do it that way. You can also do it with like dancing eel sauce or something else. You can put vegetables in there, whatever your preference is. But we made this simple and easy, fun way to take your kids out or anybody, catch stuff at any local beach, come back, cook it up for like pennies on the dollar. And uh, as you can tell, it's really good. 
I'm gonna go ahead and make another one. You're gonna try it, Kim. Well, don't drop it in there. Keep it over here, little mess maker. You're a mess made in heaven. Okay, you ready? Where do you wanna start? I don't know, where do we start? I'm gonna start by taking your hand and grabbing one of those and eating it and stick it in your mouth. Okay. Well, at least this isn't the worst thing to, to hit me this week. We've got this coronavirus here. I can't believe you're eating that. <laughs> you dip it in the soy sauce? It's good. Crunchy. That's the brains. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I mean, it doesn't taste like anything. So. Would you say the elbow tastes different than the knee? <laughs> It's all like one thing. It's good. It's all one big elbow. Sorry, I was gonna let you eat these, but I can't watch this. My, my time to shine. I mean, I wouldn't order it in a restaurant or anything. That's because well, it's not legal to sell. It was this special. It was the soup du jour. Um, like I say, I've eaten it. That one's moving still. <laughs> That's how fresh they are. That's a good aftertaste though. Tastes like a cross between, I mean it tastes like a cross between possum and armadillo. <laughs> you like 80 of these. What's the crunch? Is that the seaweed or is that the, uh, Simply. Both. A little bit of that. It's just a, a nice little. Yeah, so. It's like. What do you think? Corn pops. Would you do it again? It's like corn puffs. It's like. It's like sand popcorn. <laughs> Sandy popcorn. It almost does taste like popcorn. It's not all the way cooked, but you still eat it because it's like the last couple in there and you're starving. I know that I've ever done that. <laughs> I have. I think everybody out there has. Well, now look, see, here he goes. He's eating them raw. And you're It tastes like air. It's like popcorn. How do you do it again? All right, well, we hope you enjoyed this. And stay tuned for the next upcoming videos. We get a lot of stuff. It's the middle of spring. Everything's fired up. We're getting ready to go out and do a whole bunch of videos. We're gonna keep them coming as fast as we can. We hope you like this. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash everything, and we'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs>